Hello and welcome to the Royal News Summary on the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, and his financial situation. It has been reported that Andrew is set to have his annual allowance of £249,000 cut from April, leaving him unable to maintain the Royal Lodge, his 98-acre Windsor property. However, a royal source has confirmed that the King, Charles III, will not leave his brother homeless or penniless. The private annual grant from the Duchy of Lancaster was previously overseen by the late Queen. And Andrew bought a 75-year lease on the Royal Lodge but was required to carry out costly repairs and renovations. It is understood that the Duke's main other sources of income are his Navy pension and a substantial inheritance from the late Queen and Prince Philip. While the Duke is said to be concerned about his financial situation, the King is reportedly on a drive to slim down spending. Another source claims that King Charles has suggested that Andrew can use his own money to pay for things. There have also been examples where other members of the family, such as Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, have been required to fund their own expenses. The King's vision for a leaner monarchy will extend to his cost of living coronation in May, which will be less extravagant than previous ones, reflecting his desire to be the people's king. This desire for a slimmed-down monarchy includes the future use of numerous royal properties across Britain, as well as how much presence King Charles has at Buckingham Palace after its renovation. Despite losing his taxpayer-funded Met Police armed guards, the Duke is believed to have his private security funded by the King. The Duke has also paid Virginia Roberts Jufre, his accuser in a sex abuse case in which he denies all allegations, more than £12 million in an out-of-court settlement last year. The late Queen partly funded the settlement to allow her son to draw a line under the case. The Duke still lives with his ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson, who bought a £5 million Mayfair house last year as an investment opportunity for their daughters. This decision has outraged a French chalet owner who endured a protracted dispute with the couple over the 2014 sale of her property in Switzerland. The chalet owner accepted a lower payment of £3.4 million despite being owed double that. It is worth noting that the Duke's previous association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein has brought negative attention to the royal family. Prince Andrew was criticized for his relationship with Epstein and his involvement in Epstein's activities. The Duke denies all allegations and has faced legal proceedings in the US. Despite these controversies, the Duke has been a part of many charitable endeavors, including his work with the Teenage Cancer Trust and his patronage of the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. He has also served in the Royal Navy and has been a representative for the UK in trade missions. It remains to be seen how the Duke's financial situation will unfold and how it will affect his standing within the royal family. Some have speculated that the Duke may take on more charitable work or seek out other sources of income. Others have suggested that he may take a step back from his public duties. Regardless of the outcome, the royal family has shown a willingness to adapt to changing circumstances and make necessary changes to reflect the public's wishes. King Charles's vision for a leaner monarchy may be one step in this direction. In conclusion, the Duke of York's financial situation has been a topic of interest for many, as it has highlighted the inner workings of the royal family's finances. Despite his challenges, the Duke has remained committed to his charitable work and public duties. The King's plans for a leaner monarchy and his commitment to being the people's king reflect the change. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment on my channel, and click the notification bell for a future video.